Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your friendly neighborhood tech guy and today I'll be showing you guys how to become a streamer. So streaming nowadays is a very hot topic. A lot of people are seeking to learn how to do it and it's actually not as simple as it sounds. A lot of technical things actually go into becoming a streamer and I'm here to simplify that process to you so you don't have to go through the painstaking process of learning how to do it all yourself. I've been streaming and creating content for the better part of a year now and I can tell you that I spent nearly the first five months learning how to get everything set up. And it was very difficult because no one has made a comprehensive guide on how to get started streaming. Well, I started this channel to help you guys be on your A game when it comes to streaming, but also when it comes to creating other types of content or just using technology as well, whether that be hardware or software. And so in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to become a streamer. Before we get started, I do want to let you guys know that I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday starting at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can find the links to my channel and the links down below. You can also find all my other social media in the description in case you want to give me a follow there as well. And if you have any additional questions, you can either leave a comment down below as well. You can also hop into our Discord where we have many tech experts that can help you with any questions that you may have about streaming or other tech at all times anyway without further ado let's get into this tutorial so first you're going to want to go to twitch.tv if you're going to be using twitch and you're going to go to where it says sign up because presumably you haven't made your account yet once you get to the sign up part you're going to want to go ahead and make your username we're just going to put uh testing one two three that's already taken uh sykes test one, two, three, that should be fine. Go ahead and enter your password, whatever you like. Go ahead and put your date of birth. I'm not gonna put my actual birthday here, but you should have, uh, you know, an idea. You should know what your birthday is, so just put whatever you want there. And then go ahead and enter your email, whatever it is, and go ahead and hit sign up. It's gonna send you a verification code to your email, so then make sure you go ahead, get that verification code and enter it in there. Once you entered your verification code, it's going to go ahead and verify you. You'll see once it's done loading, you're ready and your Twitch account is set up. Now, once your Twitch account is set up, the next thing you're going to need to get is broadcasting software. Now, if you're going to be streaming directly from a console, you don't need this necessarily. However, I do recommend it because it gives you more control. However, this is going to be covering the majority of other streamers. If you guys want me to make a tutorial covering console only streams in the future, leave a comment down below asking me for that and also subscribe so that way you're notified of when I make that tutorial. For now, let's go ahead and move on with this. Now, for my case uh, and a lot of other people, I like OBS. Uh, it's a free broadcasting software that allows you to stream on whatever platform you like. So that's what I'm going to be using for this tutorial. I'll go ahead and post a link to that software in the description down below. But you can also use a different one like Streamlabs if that's what you want to do. I just prefer OBS. We're going to go ahead and go to OBS download. You're going to go ahead, open it up. You choose your platform of choice. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to be on Windows. You go ahead, hit the download installer. Save file. And if you check your downloads, it should be there. Once you have it downloaded, you're going to go ahead and run the EXE and you're going to get it set up. Once it's open, this is what you're going to be looking at. All right, guys. So your screen might look a little bit more or less like the screen that I have now uh, with the exclusion of some things. But if it doesn't, that's no problem. We could actually change it up to how you want later. What we're going to focus on right now is actually on setting up the actual uh, stream so that you could use it and actually stream from there. When you first open OBS, it should have prompted you to run the auto run wizard. I would recommend for most people to run this because uh, it would make it the easiest. If you're not aware of what your PC could actually do to stream, if you're not sure what specs you are and what settings you should use, I definitely recommend you go ahead and use that auto run wizard and it'll give you the most recommended settings for what the program detects that your PC can do. If you would like me to do a more in-depth OBS setup tutorial for you, so that way you can know what different settings do and how it affects your stream. And also you can see if your PC can handle certain things or not. Then go ahead and again, leave a comment down below to let me know that you'd be interested in that. And of course, again, I recommend you to subscribe. So that way you're notified of when I first drop a tutorial on that. 
Now, this part's very important. If you don't do this, you're not going to be able to stream, so you can't skip it. You're going to need what's called your stream key. Without this key, you're not going to be able to stream no matter what platform you're using or what software you're using. So you're going to go to here, file. You're going to hit... Oh, I'm actually covering that. Let me move my camera out of the way. Yeah. You're going to need to go to file. Then you're going to go to settings. You're going to go to this part that says stream. And here you can see that mine is filled out automatically already, but... Yours is probably going to be blank. You're going to have to go first to the part where it says service. And then you're going to see all the different streaming software that you can use. For our purposes, we're going to be using Twitch. But you could choose with everyone that you want, of course. The server, I would just recommend leaving on auto because it's going to give you the one with the best latency for you. And then this is the part that you're concerned about here where it says stream key. Mine's is blacked out. That's for my mainstream account. I can't show you that to you guys. And by the way, you should never share that with anybody because if you give someone your stream key, they can stream using your account. It's very important that you do not show them that. So what you should do instead, you're going to hit get stream key. Once you hit the get stream key, you're going to be here in this part of your Twitch channel. What you're going to want to do first before anything and make sure you don't skip this step. Otherwise, it's not going to work. You need to go ahead and hit reset on your primary stream key and then you're going to copy it. Once you copy it, you're going to go ahead and come back to the part where it says stream. You're going to go ahead and paste it into the field stream key. You're going to hit apply and OK. And now, lo and behold, we're going to hit start stream. And if you go ahead and actually check our channel, there you go. You can actually see that we're live on Twitch right now. You see right up here says live. We're streaming. Bada bing, bada boom. You're a streamer. Now, that being said, you are going to be streaming, but without doing this next step, you're going to be streaming nothing for you to actually stream some form of content. You're going to need to do what's called setting up a scene or multiple scenes. Now, the one scene that most streamers would absolutely need is their gameplay scene, which will basically consist of you putting your face cam, your gameplay, your microphone, and those three things together will pretty much complete your gameplay scene. And that's what most people are going to be looking at. But so that you could get a little bit more of an intricate stream that's a little bit more advanced, I do recommend at least adding an intermission screen between your matches or whatever it is that you're playing when you're not playing a game and other scenes that you could do as well. If you would like me to do a tutorial covering that, you already guessed what I'm about to say. Go ahead, let me know in the comments and subscribe. So that way you guys let me know that that's something you would like me to make. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to be showing you how to set up a simple gameplay scene so that you can get started streaming your games. So now we're back in OBS. We're going to go down here to the left where it says scenes. It should be there. If you don't see it, you could always just come to view docs and then you should see scenes right there. You could check it. If you check these, all these can come up. It's something useful that I recommend doing. But for creating your scene, you're just going to go to this one. Once you're in scenes, you're going to go ahead and hit this check mark here, this plus. And I would name it something like gameplay. So you know what it is in there. The first step of what you're going to go ahead and do here is going to be adding your webcam. Now, however you have your webcam connected, let's say it's a USB webcam. You're going to go here, video capture device. And if you connected it correctly, it should come up. Let's say we're going to create a new one and we're going to call it face. We're going to call it face cam. Once it opens, it's going to automatically detect it. And here it is coming out. You can see my face cam right here. You could keep it with the default settings or you could put custom and change it up. For me, I like it at uh, 1920 by 1080. And I'll make it run at the highest FPS. The rest of the stuff I'll leave as is because we don't really need that right now. And then I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make it a certain size. I like my webcam kind of big, but this is really personal preference. I wouldn't put it too, too big so that way you don't cover up much of the gameplay and put it somewhere where you'd like to line it up with your game. And there you go. You got your webcam set up. Now, you're going to want to go ahead and add your actual gameplay, not just your webcam. So to do that, if you're playing on PC, I would go ahead and put game capture. Once you add game capture, you can go to you can right click it down here in sources, put properties, and then you could select the window that you would like it to be if it's specific 
or you can just put it to capture any full screen application and that way if you play your games on full screen it'll capture that all right guys quick side note in the video i really went into detail in showing you how you can add your gameplay for if you're playing on pc however it's almost the same thing for if you want to use obs with a console the only difference is that you would need to purchase a capture card to get your gameplay from the console into your PC. And instead of adding a game capture, you would instead add another video capture source the same way that you did for your webcam. But instead of adding a webcam, you would just select the capture card as your as uh, your source. And you will get the same result. So for example, if we start up a game like Modern Warfare, now you'll see the game come up. There's a problem, however, because we added our webcam first and then our gameplay second, the gameplay is appearing on top of our webcam, but it's a really easy fix. All you have to do if that is the case is simply click on this arrow here. And when you do that, it'll move the game capture source down and your webcam source up and now the webcam is on top of the gameplay awesome right now last but not least what you'll need to stream more importantly than anything else is going to be a microphone so that way your chat can actually hear you and communicate with you for this video i'm going to be using a usb mic which is the blue yeti you can use any microphone and set it up in the same way but i'm just going to be using this one for now just so you guys know, there is many little tips and tricks you can do to make any microphone sound good using this same software. If you guys want me to make a tutorial covering how to make any microphone sound professional using this free software, then please go ahead and comment again and let me know so that way that's something that I can make for you. All right, so the way that you add your microphone, you're going to go back to that same sources panel. You're going to hit the plus, then you're going to hit audio input capture. Now, the next part you're going to want to do is create new. I would name your source so you know what it is. So let's call this, in my case, I will name it the Blue Yeti Microphone. You're gonna go ahead and hit OK. okay. Then you're gonna go to this drop down menu. You're gonna go ahead and look for your microphone. The one that we're using is the Microphone Yeti Stereo Microphone. We're gonna hit that. And now you should be hearing me, but it should sound pretty horrible because it doesn't have any of those settings that I was talking about. At minimum, what I would recommend is leveling your microphone. If you look down here where it says audio mixer, what we're going to do is take it from here where you see it's hitting the red and that's causing what's called clipping. It sounds very horrible. And we're going to go ahead and move it down to here. Hello, hello, testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, hello, testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, that should be a lot better now. All right, and now you have your gameplay scene completely set up. And that's it, guys. You're officially streaming your game. Now you're playing, you're cool, you can talk to your chat, and you're streaming games. You're ready to become a streamer. Very simple. Whatever, we're here, we're shooting trees, we're being cool, throwing grenades. Uh, we're running up to your teammates, we're putting... Uh, we're, we're throwing grenades at your teammates. Because, <laughs> you know, friendly fire will not be tolerated and that's it. You're done. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's all it takes to get started to be a Twitch streamer. Now, of course, there's going to be many, many technical obstacles in your way to actually get a good quality stream. But unfortunately, that is all we have time to cover for today. This is basically just the process on how to get started to be a streamer on any platform of your choice. And it's how you get started. Now, on this channel, I will be having a full series covering anything else regarding with streaming and other tech. Feel free to jump into our Discord at any time to ask us questions about streaming or any other tech. And uh, we'll be more than happy to help you out with that. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell. So that way you guys are notified of whenever we post a video. And please leave a comment down below expressing your thoughts on this video or if you'd like to see any other tutorials in the future. I do read every comment, so it means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much. And until next time, happy streaming. Because of the bones. So let me see if I can do something. Hold on. Let me see. Come on, Dexter. Dexter.
Next! Ah! He's on my head! Oh. Next dude. Kill, bruh. Finally got her. I'm gonna put her back before she goes crazy. <laughs> 